everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to learn about prime and composite numbers 11 to 20 it is very simple and easy now let's move on to the video prime and composite numbers 11 to 20 we already learned in the previous video if a number has only two factor, that number is called prime number. If a number has more than two factors, that number is called composite number. Now when we know one is a factor of every number, so ones are 11, 11. Next, uh, 11 is not multiple of every number. 11 is only multiple by 1 and itself, which is 11 multiplied by 1. 11. So, the factor of 11 are 1 and 11. We learned if a number has two factors, that number is a prime number. So, 11 is a prime number. Next, 12. We know 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 12, 12. 12 is a multiple of 2, which is 2s are 6, 12. 12 is a multiple of 3, which is 3s are 4, 12. 12 is a multiple of 4, which is 4s are 3, 12. We should stop till here because both 3 and 4 has occurred earlier. So, we should stop till here. So, the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. We learned if a number has more than 2 factors, that number is a composite number. So, 12 is a composite number. 13. We know 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 13, 30. 13 is not multiple of 2 because in the 1s place, it is not even number. 13 is not multiple by 3. When we add it, we get 4. 4 is not a multiple of 3. So, yeah. 30 at last. 13 is multiplied by 13, which is 13 are 1, 13. We should stop till here because 1 and 13 uh, have occurred earlier. So, the factors of 13 are 1 and 13. We learned if a number has two factors, that number is a prime number. So, 13 is a prime number. Next, 14. We know 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 14, 14. 14 is a multiple of 2, which is 2s are 7, 14. 14 is a multiple of uh, 7, which is 7s are 2, 14. We should stop till here because both 2 and 7 have occurred earlier. So, we should stop till here. So, the factors of 14 are 1, 2, 7 and 14. We learned if a number has more than 2 factor, that number is a composite number. So, 14 is a composite number. Next, 15. We know 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 15, 15. 15 is not multiple of 2. Now, let's check for 3. 15 is a multiple of 3, which is 3s are 5, 15. 15 is not multiple of 4, but 15 is multiple of 5, which is 5s are 3, 15. We should stop till here because both 3 and 5 has occurred earlier. So, the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5 and 15. 
we learned if a number has more than two factor that number is a composite number so 15 is a composite number next 16 we know one is a factor of every number so ones are 16 16 16 is multiple of 2 which is 2 so 8 16 16 is not multiple of 3 but 16 is multiple of 4 which is 4 so 4 16 we should stop till here because both of the numbers are same so we should stop till here so the factors of 16 are 1 2 4 8 16 we learned if a number has more than two factor, that number is a composite number. So, 16 is a composite number. Next, 70. We know 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 17, 70. If we learn the divisibility rules, you can easily find out the number if it is prime or composite number anyway 17 is uh, not in the one space it is not even number so 17 is not divisible by 2 when we add we get the answer as 8 8 is not a multiple of 3 so it won't go at last 17 does not go for any number but 17 goes to 17 which is 17 are 1 17 so, the factors of 17 are 1 and 17. We learned if a number has two factors, that number is a prime number. So, 17 is a prime number. Next, 18. We know 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 18, 18. 18 is a multiple of 2, which is 2, so 9, 18. 18 is a multiple of 3, which is 3, so 6, 18. 18 is not a multiple of 4. 18 is not a multiple of 5. At last, 18 is multiple of 6, which is 6, so 3, 18. We should stop till here because both 3 and 6 have occurred earlier. So, we should stop till here. So, the factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. We learned if a number has more than 2 factor, that number is a composite number. So, 18 is a composite number. Next, 90. We know 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 19, 19. If we learn the divisibility rule, you can easily find out the number if it is prime or composite number. So, 19 in the 1s place, it is not written even number. So, 19 is not divisible by 2. And when we add 19, we get the answer as 10. 10 is not a multiple of 3. So, it is not divisible by 3. At last, 19 is multiple of 19, which is 19 are 1, 19. So, the factors of 19 are 1 and 19. We learn if a number has 2 factor, that number is a prime number. So, 19 is a prime number. Next, 20. We know 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 20, 20. 20 is a multiple of 2, which is 2s are 10, 20. 20 is not a multiple of 3, but 20 is multiple of 4, which is 4s are 5, 20. 20 is multiple of 5, which is 5s are 4, 20. We should stop till here because both 4s 
four and five have occurred earlier. So the factors of twenty are one, two, four, five, ten, and twenty. We learned if a number has more than two factor, that number is called composite number. So twenty is a composite number. So the prime numbers and the composite numbers of eleven to twenty. So the prime numbers of eleven to twenty are eleven, thirteen, seventeen, and nineteen. And the composite numbers of eleven to twenty are twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. I hope you understand the concept of the prime and the composite numbers, eleven to twenty. And please share your feedback and comment in the video comment section. And that is it for the today's video. Thanks for watching.